on behalf of the Parker community, we are so immensely grateful for your sacrifice to this country and for your service. You make us a stronger, prouder community, and our gratitude for your service and contributions knows no bounds. 100 years ago, President Woodrow Wilson declared this day Armistice Day, the anniversary of the armistice that ended World War I and that began on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. And on that first Veterans Day, President Wilson said, to us in America, the reflections of Armistice Day will be filled with gratitude for the victory, both because of the thing from which it has freed us and because of the opportunity it has given America to show her sympathy with peace and justice in the councils of the nation. So here we stand, grateful for the bravery and incredible sacrifice of each and every person who has served the United States of America to fight for freedom. And this Veterans Day, as has been true for many years now, the U.S. is engaged in active armed conflict. We are at war. And it's something most of us don't spend much time thinking about. We're so busy that we hardly take a moment to acknowledge that there are roughly 200,000 troops deployed overseas right now. 200,000. Students, none of us are old enough to even remember a time when the U.S. was in peacetime, and that fact is difficult enough to wrap our minds around. And if there's one thing that's remained constant in our country's history through, through our darkest times and our most prosperous, it's America's veterans who have fought to protect our country and what it stands for. And the same remains true today. There are those who oppose the wars this country is involved in, and U.S. foreign policy is, as always, a point of heated debate. But most Americans can come together, acknowledge the immense sacrifice of those who have served, and be profoundly grateful for our veterans. Almost 250,000 veterans live in San Diego County. A quarter of a million people. And we're extremely fortunate to share a community with them. You know, for many veterans, returning back to civilian life is not easy. Government bureaucracy meant to serve veterans doesn't work for everybody and leaves many behind. Mental illness, unemployment, and homeless rates pose overwhelming challenges. Only 50% of returning veterans who need mental health treatment will receive services. And over 20% of those who served in Iraq or Afghanistan suffer from either major depression or post-traumatic stress disorder. And that number is considered to be significantly lower than the true effects because of social stigma and lack of services. We owe so much to the veterans of our armed forces. More than a thousand thank yous could express. To do for them what justice requires, to support and care for them in our communities, to understand the monumental impact they have had and the great sacrifice they have made, that's how we celebrate Veterans Day. Thank you.